We're at Evergreen Family Medicine in Roseburg, Oregon, and today I'm with Ashley Miller. She is a quality specialist and PCPCH coordinator here at Evergreen. Ashley, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. We're going to talk about PCPCH and what it means here at Evergreen, and uh, this is a very important part of what Evergreen does, so I'm glad to get some more detail. What, do, first of all, what is PCPCH? PCPCH stands for Patient Centered Primary Care Home, and that is a care delivery model that we've committed to at Evergreen. Um, it's designed to take better care of our patients, be more efficient, be patient centered, as well as increase job satisfaction for all the employees at Evergreen. Um, it's a proven model of care to do all of those things and cut down on costs in the healthcare industry as well. So I just kind of want to break that down a little bit and point out some things that we do here at Evergreen because we are a patient-centered primary care home. And you have six categories to cover when it comes to PCPCH, so why don't you take us through those? The six categories are being accessible, being accountable, providing comprehensive care, providing continuous care, providing coordination and integration of care across multiple spectrums, and being patient and family-centered. So actually, the first category is accessible. What does that mean? So at Evergreen, we like to be accessible to our patients in multiple forms for multiple reasons. So we are here to see our patients um, for office visits, as well as provide clinical advice, and that can be on the phone, in person, or on our patient portal. We also offer clinical advice by telephone 24 seven. So if it's 3 a.m. and your child has a fever that you can't get to go down, you call our office and you're transferred to our on-call provider. So things like that, as well as uh, offering work-in appointments throughout the day. Uh, we know that you can't schedule all of your medical needs ahead of time, and so we try and offer various appointments throughout the day for all of our providers for work-ins for those types of things. Um, and then the patient portal is a really useful tool to communicate at your convenience. With the patient portal, patients can send messages, review medical records, schedule appointments, all sorts of things um, at a convenient time that works for them. Um, it can be done on a laptop, on a phone. It's just really user-friendly and convenient to the user for the time and place. So that's item number one. Tell us about category number two in PCPCH. The second category is accountable, and that means that we do what we say we do. So whether it be internal quality measures, external quality measures, or um, PCPCH measures, we continue to do what we set out from the start. We measure our progress. We let patients know how we're doing. We let the program know how we're doing, and we're continuously monitoring those types of things. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. Now take us to category number three. Category three is comprehensive care. So we, as a primary care facility, take care of our patients from birth to death. And we offer a lot of additional services to help patients along their healthcare journey. And that includes things like um, procedures. We do testing on site um, for some things. We offer diabetic education. We have nurse case managers who can help chronically ill patients kind of navigate the healthcare system and, and take better care of themselves, understand their disease processes. We offer vaccines, behavioral health services. We take care of our patients when they're in the hospital. We also um, have a dementia support group. So we offer extra things like that that we feel will help um, patients stay healthier. So we're halfway through the list of six things with PCPCH. Category number four is continuous. Why that word? So patients often navigate um, two other offices besides their primary care provider. So they see specialists, they might end up in a skilled nursing facility, a hospital, a care home, all sorts of things. And so continuous care means that we're with our patient every step of that journey. So we're communicating with all of their other providers in their health care, um, and we make sure that we have records and medication lists that are up to date, um, that's following the patient kind of through that process, um, and, and just making sure that just because they're not seeing us at this time, they're kind of off our radar, per se. The fifth category of 
providing coordinated and integrated care kind of follows up on the continuous category. We want to make sure that we're coordinating medical records and referrals to specialists, testing, make sure that we have records that come back from that. And we also like to offer an integrated approach to healthcare. So that can be behavioral health services. We have um, both a psychiatrist and a behavioral health specialist that work in our clinic. They round and see patients as needed. Um, and our teamwork kind of plays into that, where we coordinate a patient's care amongst their care team here at Evergreen. The sixth and final category is probably the most important, and that is providing patient and family-centered care. So that can be things like helping assist arrange translators for patients whose primary language is not English. Um, we outline kind of patient and practice guidelines saying this is what we are responsible for, and then on the other hand, this is what you as the patient are responsible for. So we really try and bring the patient into the conversation and encourage them to kind of be in the driver's seat of their healthcare journey. Um, and we try and meet patients where they're at and give them the tools to continue their journey in a better way. Um, another thing that we do is our patient surveys, trying to get feedback and make sure that we are providing services in ways that they, they feel are appropriate and what they want. And we also have our patient and family advisory council. And so that is a group of patients that meet with us monthly. And we just kind of run through things. If we're thinking about trying something new or maybe making a new form, we run that by them so that they can look at it from a patient perspective and kind of help us with that. Well, I think that's a perfect place to sort of segue into the importance of PCPCH, the importance Evergreen puts on feedback from uh, patients because this is a never-ending process, isn't it? And you, you're constantly taking the feedback, trying to improve this. And if I'm, I may be wrong, but I think the whole idea of PCPCH comes from what patients are asking for in their health care. Yes. I think over the last several years, we've kind of realized that there are broken down pieces in healthcare, and so kind of really listening to what patients want and trying to make things more efficient and better for them and us at the same time, that's kind of what PCPCH is about, and it's a continuous journey. We'll never be done making ourselves better. There's no doubt that PCPCH makes Evergreen different and better and a tremendous uh, asset to the community, no doubt, when it comes to patient care. So thank you for the explanation of PCPCH. To find out more about Evergreen Family Medicine, you can go online to evergreenfamilymedicine.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.